2004 was the year there was a standoff between President Mwai Kibaki and the majority of delegates who had been meeting at the Bomas of Kenya in Nairobi under the chairmanship of Professor Yashpal Gai of the Constitution of Kenya Review Commission to review a new constitution for the country. In January, the Bomas delegates recommended retaining a presidential system of government but transferring some of the president's powers to a strong prime minister. Under the new arrangement, the president would have no powers to dissolve parliament and there would be substantial devolution of powers from the center to the regions, something reminiscent of the old Majimbo system during the first two years of Kenya's independence. Kibaki was strongly opposed to these recommendations and he asked his vice president, Modi Awari, to convey his views to the Boma's delegates. On March 15th, when the majority of delegates, mainly Liberal Democratic Party, LDP and Kenya African National Union Kano supporters stood their ground over their recommendations, Awari led the government delegation in a protest walkout. The following week, the Bomas delegates handed their final draft constitution to Attorney General Amos Wako on March 23rd. They now expected the government to submit the draft to Kenyans for approval or rejection in a national referendum by June 30th. Tension began to mount when weeks went by without any substantive response from the government on the Bomas draft constitution. Then, on June 28th, Kibaki instructed Justice and Constitutional Affairs Minister Kiraito Murungi to come out with an amended version of the Boma's draft that the government intended to put to a referendum instead of the one the delegates at Boma's had drawn up. As it turned out, Murungi would soon be preoccupied with other matters besides drafting a new constitution. New cases of corruption came to light even as the commission that Kibaki had appointed, under the chairmanship of Court of Appeal Justice Samuel Bosire, was looking into the Goldenberg scandal, through which the government of Kibaki's predecessor, Daniel Arap Moy, had lost billions of shillings. The new scandals involved the payment of large sums of money by the Kibaki government for internal security-related goods and services not actually supplied or rendered by a number of companies, including a shadowy company called Anglo Leasing. As minister responsible for justice in a government publicly committed to war on corruption, Murungi should have dealt with the scandals quickly and firmly. Instead, he and some of his cabinet colleagues chose to stonewall over the issue, despite mounting criticism from religious leaders, both Christian and Muslim, as well as from members of parliament. 2004 was the year environmentalist Professor Wangari Mathai became the first African woman to win the Nobel Peace Prize. In business, it was the year the central bank put back into circulation currency notes bearing President Jomo Kenyatta's portrait after they had been withdrawn for a number of years during the regime of President Daniel Arap Moy. In sports, 2004 was the year Kenya came away from the Olympic Games in Athens, Greece with only one gold medal, won by Ezekiel Kemboi in the 3000 meters steeplechase, leading a Kenyan 1-2-3 sweep of the medals in the event, the second time since 1992 in Barcelona that Kenya had achieved that feat. Elsewhere in international athletics, Timothy Cherigat and Catherine Dereba won the Boston men's and women's marathons, and Margaret Okayo won the London women's marathon. Two thousand and four was the year Kenyan said farewell to veteran freedom fighter and one of the Kapenguria Six, former cabinet minister Paul Ngay. Former Minister for Education, Taita Arab Towet. Former Chief Justice, Matthews Guy Muli. Former Cabinet Minister, Andrew Omanga. Former Cabinet Minister, Elijah Mwangale. 
Former Tourism and Wildlife Minister Carissa Maida, who died of a heart attack in Germany while on an official government visit. Former Nakuru North MP and Gikuyu Embu and Meru Association, Gemma National Organizing Secretary Kihika Kimani, and former Foreign Affairs Assistant Minister Job Omino. <laughs>